right, uh, let, we're now being joined by Michael Uba. Michael is a governorship candidate under the APC in Delta State. Thanks so very much for joining us on Newsnight. And uh, the, the leader of the party in Delta State, of course, the deputy president of the Senate, Ovie Omo Agege, had uh, said that the internal crisis in the APC is over in Delta State. Is that so? Yes, it's so. Uh, every party has its own issues. or well, consolidating. We have to work together if we have to succeed in Delta State. If we have to retire uh, the, the PDP in Delta State, we have to be able to consolidate and work together to be able to achieve that. <laughs> what are the, you know, indices you're bringing to the table to retire a party that has been there for over 22 years and uh, even the present governor, you know, is being described as Mr. Infrastructure. So what new thing is the APC in Delta State going to bring on the table to sway Deltans from voting uh, APC? Me right now, for me right now, I'm going to speak for myself yeah. as an aspirant. Yeah. My three points uh, mandate, the three Ps, the tripod, the trinity, uh, pro-human, pro-science, pro-business. Uh, if we have to succeed as a country, as a state, we have to focus more on our people. We have to focus on developing our human capacity. We have to invest on infrastructure. We have to invest in technology to drive the economy. All right. Um, well, okay. Let's just uh, again preview, you know, your chances. You are a youth, uh, the leader of the party there holds the structure of the party, you know, dearest to his chest. And uh, it's been rumored that he's even uh, angling to becoming the governor of Delta State under APC. So what will be your own uh, chance or chances of people like you who, you know, are like uh, in your political sophomores? Uh, at the end of the day, the will of the people would prevail. For me, right now, I'm going to focus on my campaign. I'm very determined. I believe I will be able to drive through the process, and I believe that I'll be very victorious. I am a candidate for the people, of the people, and I believe that I would scale through, and uh, I am a youth, of course, but I would be there to representing everybody. I'm a candidate of the people, men, women, and I believe that uh, with my three Ps, uh, it's all about uh, uh, improving on what uh, has been there. We have to improve. We have to do better. Uh, the PDP has uh, been there since 1999, and it done absolutely nothing. The infrastructure has decayed, and nothing is in the state. You find out that Delta State right now, uh, the factories are not working. The seaports are not working. Nothing is working in the state. And I'm coming in fresh. Uh, to be able to overhaul the whole process. And we have to, if we are to succeed as a country and as a nation, we have to learn from successful economies. We're supposed to learn from successful countries. And these people, they prioritize their people. And as of now, we are in the information, to information uh, age. We have to invest in information. We have to invest in technology to drive the whole process. Invest in manufacturing. I believe, as of right now, uh, the GDP of Delta State is at about $18 million. And we, we can go to, we can do about, uh, we, we can do about, uh, is, sorry to say, uh, it's about 14 right now, okay? So we can continue to improve on that, in, improve on an IGR, an IGR. And I believe we can do close to uh, $400 billion. And uh, the way forward right now, I believe, is that as a state, as uh, a state, we have to look at what would drive the system. We have to look at what would drive the economy. We have to look at what would get business working. So for me personally, I am going to, I'm very determined, okay? I'm very determined to make sure that I put systems in place that will create an enabling environment for business to thrive. Okay, that would really be great. When you talk about uh, the ports in Delta State, I'm very passionate about that because I come from a port city called Sapele. And remember, River Ethiopia, River Ethiopia is the deepest river in West Africa, but no seaports again. It's all gone. So anybody who's going to revive it, we'll be glad.
Thank you very much, um, Michael Uba Michael, Governorship Aspirant, uh, APC Delta State, for coming on Newsnight. Thanks very much. Thank you, Mr. President.